The Assassin Predator, also known as the Upgrade Predator, was a huge genetically modified Yautja and the nemesis of the Fugitive Predator. His mission was to assassinate the fugitive, destroy his ship and prevent him from delivering the predator killer to humanity. The assassin was an imposing Yautja of gargantuan size, a product of extreme hybridisation. His DNA was an amalgamation of various creatures spliced together to enhance his size, strength and abilities. Standing at 11 feet, he was vastly taller, stronger, faster and more durable than any normal predator, and he could manipulate his body to grant him unnatural abilities. He had beige skin with dark stripes and black hair, he also had digitigrade legs instead of plantigrade like a normal predator, meaning his feet rest on the toes rather than the soles, giving him increased speed and manoeuvrability. He possessed a bulletproof exoskeletal layer of skin that he could activate on command as part of his body function. This organic armour could deflect gunfire at close range and would shatter wrist blades on contact, thus negating the need for wearing body armour. When activating the exoskeleton, his skin would change from beige to a grey colour. He also did not require a biomask to use optical features, it is likely he possessed a form of implant version of the biomask. The assassin employed a variety of Yautja technology and weaponry. On his wrist, he had a single retractable wrist blade, which was able to be fired out. The blade was attached to his gauntlet by a cable, allowing it to be wound back in like a harpoon, and the cable was strong enough to decapitate a human. He also had a stealth cloak and a wrist cannon. To assist him in locating the fugitive, Assassin used a pair of predator dogs, similar to how the tracker predator used his hellhounds. It's not entirely known if the Assassin's hybridisation was his own doing or the collaboration of several research cast Yautja to create a form of super hunter of their race. Stargazer revealed that the fugitive predator also had human DNA, meaning this hybridising was not unique to the Assassin. Due to the extent of hybridisation being seen as not honourable by most Yoja, the assassin would likely be viewed as an abomination by their society. This alongside the fact that he also kills other predators, it is possible that the assassin may be a bad blood. After the fugitive managed to evade him and crash landed on earth, the assassin followed some time after and tracked him to a school. He then completed phase one of his mission and killed the fugitive. He then makes his way to the McKenna's house in search of the Predator equipment which would allow him to find the fugitive ship. He then does battle with the humans and kidnaps Quinn's son, Rory, to harvest his DNA. However, the loonies are able to disable his ship and in the final battle he is blown up and then finished off by Quinn with several shots to the face. The assassin was certainly a very powerful Yautja, probably the most capable we've ever seen on film so far. While he did have a cool design, I wasn't really a fan of how that would work in universe, I think it was a bit too over the top for a predator movie. I'm not a fan of the idea of predators using other animals they've defeated to improve themselves, I never really thought that even made any sense, as if the predators killed that animal, then he must already be superior to it. Why would he want to use DNA from something that's proven to be inferior to him? I think this whole movie was far too crazy and took things a bit too far. If you want to see what happens in my video where the assassin goes head to head with a pred alien, then check out this video here and I'll see you next time.